All right, this will be the build guide for the PVS 69. Uh, I plan on doing this in a couple different parts. Uh, but so here we go. We're gonna do an overview of what the PVS 69 is and the parts involved, how to build it, etc. So right here, you have the PVS 69 bridge. Uh, it has a dovetail that is also printed. All this stuff is 3D printed. And the dovetail slides into the bridge after you insert a heat set in there. Uh, there is 11 heat sets that come with the kit that you put into here. So uh, you can bolt everything together and it stays together. It's not gonna strip or pull out or anything like that. So your bridge, these are known as the tips. They're tube interface pieces. Uh, those will attach in your bridge like so. And then you have your tube housings. This is the newer design. This one's a little, this is a, a reject. I just used it for the video. But uh, this is the uh, new tube design with a threaded collar on the back end, which will uh, help retain the display as well as use an additional O-ring to make these completely watertight. Uh, the only issue is, PL, uh, not PLA, FDM printers are by nature like porous prints, so water can seep through the print itself, so you need some sort of epoxy or some of suggested truck bed liner. Um, let me show you what comes in a parts kit. You will get 11 of these heat set nuts. I'm just scooping them out right now. Six. Nine, eleven. You get eleven heat set nuts. You'll get eleven hex cap M five by five bolts. You will get uh, one five point five by two one DC jack. Uh, it comes with a little. Uh, washer and nut. These are IP68 rated, so that's why I went with this style. Uh, you will get a buck converter. Uh, this part is essential, or else you will destroy your displays almost instantly. Uh, this buck is capable of 5 to 24 volts, and regulating that down to 5 volts. So uh, you have to have this, actually you can re regulate it lower than 5, but you want it set about 4.9, you don't really want to go over five or you risk damaging your displays. Uh, you will get this switch, which is a three position switch. Uh, and it comes with this little pigtail, but later on I'll show you that we actually just take this pigtail apart to save space and make it more solid connection. Um, I have more testing to do with these, but future kits may include some brass washers uh, in place of O-rings. Currently the kits are coming with O-rings. You get uh, O-rings for, actually these are the O-rings for here. You get o -ring, an O-ring for pretty much every open surface on this design. So there'll be a slightly smaller one that'll fit here. Uh, a couple bigger ones, I don't know the sizes. I don't remember off the top of my head. A couple bigger ones that'll go in this surface here, uh, some that'll go here. And if you order the waterproof, actually I don't have an option on the website yet for the new, this is called the, the Charlie, I just designated it Charlie, the waterproof design. Uh, I don't have an option for, on it on the website yet, but I will soon. And that will have an additional larger O-ring for that surface there. Um, okay, so the printed parts, we went over that the parts that come in the kit. Oh, you also get a spring connector and a flat connector, and that is for the internal battery housing. Um, and the brass tube, what's that at? You'll get 100 millimeters or 10, wait. Yeah, you'll get this much brass tube. It's like 100 millimeters or something like that. You gotta cut it down to 46 and 46. I uh, give you 100 just so you have some extra space in there uh, to work with. But you want it about 46 millimeters long. 
Uh, yeah, I think that's all, all there is that goes in the kits. Um, so I sell these kits on my website with everything you see here, plus all the fucking O-rings. There's like nine O-rings, I think it is. Uh, everything you see here, I sell it on my website because uh, when you buy this stuff, uh, you have to buy two switches because they only come in packs of twos. These jacks come in like a pack of five. These are a pack of six or 12. This comes in uh, three, it, three rods of 300 millimeters each. And then these come in like a pack of like 70. The bolts and heat sets are packs of 50. So if you buy everything individually, it's gonna cost you about $100 and you're gonna have a shit ton of extra stuff which maybe you want that, maybe you don't, uh, but I sell it on my website. It'll save you some money, help support, you know, development for this stuff. And uh, yeah, so moving on, uh, talk about the displays a little bit. This is a V760 Alpha TAC 5, I believe. Uh, I wouldn't know without actually cracking it open and looking at the, the display, but I'm fairly certain this is a dash five because i'm pretty sure that's all i've ordered recently uh so this is the dash five however sometimes the dash fives will ship with this lens this is obviously a much better lens uh in comparison i like it better because that it's so much more to look at however there's a little bit of color distortion something to do with like polarization coming through this lens versus this one you don't get that color distortion so like basically if you look all the way at the right side, you'll see red, all the way to the left side, you'll see green. And if you look in the center, you don't see that, that split. But this one, looking at it from any angle, you don't see a color split. Uh, th these things are fairly expensive and I get that, uh, but they're over the Adafruit display. This is like not even comparable. The Adafruit display is like a literal pile of dog shit compared to this uh these are sony micro displays um i have one right here so this is this is a dash three display this is a sony uh something ex whatever uh 2.3 inch diagonal this or 0.23 inch diagonal display and that's paired up with some chinese proprietary driver board which i'm still trying to figure out what it is so i can replicate these uh, but that's all paired up and then it comes with you know a pretty nice optic for what you get uh, the previous pv69 gen 2 used like the same thing that the bp nvgs used as well as like i think the dp nvgs use the same thing but uh so that's basically all the components aside from your camera so the cameras i 100 percent recommend the Runcam Night Eagle 3. Uh, these to me are just the best one that you can get. They're about $70 a piece, so they're not cheap. Uh, but I haven't, actually I have fried two of these, but that's because I did some unsafe practices and touched some wires that shouldn't have been touched. And yeah, cause I was just trying to figure things out. So. Uh, these I have not had a problem with their actual performance. They get quite hot, but that's just typical for these because they're meant to be moving through the air because they're for drones. Um, another popular one is the Foxier Nightcat 3. Uh, I have not had good luck with those. Every single one that I've had failed right away and I just can't really condone the use of those. Uh, I have tested the Runcam Phoenixes. They run about $30 a piece. They don't compare at all to the Night Eagle's night vision quality. However, if all you're looking to do is run active IR, uh, the Phoenixes will work fine for you. But if you want to run without active IR, the Night Eagles are where you want to be. Uh, I do have some recommended settings to change on these before you get everything all buttoned up. So, uh, we'll go through that later in the video too or probably in the next video um so the bridge real quickly i want to touch on this is the gen 3 bridge however 
uh, the Gen 4. Uh, I've had some files floating around now for it. This is the Gen 4 bridge. Only major difference is uh, obviously the style and it does not have internal battery. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing. The same three position switch will work with it. And I stuck with three position switch for this housing because uh, I wanna put some like IR emitters somewhere on here. Just something low intensity that you can one position turn on the IR emitter. Uh, nothing crazy, like not some super mega bright ones, just something to give you like a dull working distance glow. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the Gen 3 uh, Delta and Charlie for now. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.